We welcome in Fox Sports Radio NFL analyst Greg, Greg Jennings. What's Jennings. up, man? What's up? No nose tackle talk, man. No, that, hey, that's no. linebacker. No, How about no. linebacker? Edge well, rusher. Linebacker. Nose tackle. <laughs> we getting a little too sloppy now, Chris. <laughs> hey, nah, hey, man. Hey. Good to have you on. Go ahead, Rob. Greg, let's start here with with uh, Dak Prescott and the Cowboys. Uh, they said he might be back a little sooner than they originally thought, busted thumb on his throwing hand. But before the injury, uh, Greg, I, I just – I've seen enough with Dak. I, I just – I'm not I, – I don't, I don't know where he is. I don't think he's an elite quarterback on his way to being elite. They were terrible in the postseason game against the 49ers, terrible in this game. Uh, it looks like he has to have everything working in order for him to be effective. Am I crazy? No, you're not crazy. I mean, you pay a guy that amount of money, and I know everybody's talking about how much you pay on these quarterbacks, but you pay them because you believe that they are what will allow you to have the success that you're hopeful of. And so when you watch Dak Prescott in, in, in the Dallas Cowboys, offensively, you automatically think, okay, if we take away this, we still have Dak. If we take away that, we still have right. Dak. And he's not overcoming in, in being louder than what we are, what what we don't see, you know what I mean? Like he's not overcoming those multitude of sins, if you will, and and that's where you get take your opinion and your thought and your synopsis, Rob. Of I'm you're over it, and I think a lot of us have seen this with Dak, where he's always needed so much help, right? And and when he when he has it, he's phenomenal. But when he when he doesn't, or when he's called to be greater than what the the odds are, it, we just don't see it on a consistent basis. So I mean, I'm, I'm kind of with everybody. All of what I've heard, I, I think the Dallas Cowboys season is over unless they wow. just completely start to <laughs> stifle people defensively, and I just don't see that happening. Greg, uh, let's get to the call heard around the world, and that yes. of course is Nathaniel Hackett. Rob calls him. Nathaniel can't hack it, but um, <laughs> does should Russell Wilson have just kind of usurped Hackett's authority and been like, you know, called a timeout, went to the sideline, talked about it, and said, "Look, we need to let's go for this on fourth and five. I kind of felt like he was like, "Look, my first game in Denver, this coach's first game ever. I don't really want to." override him like this right away but I, I know, what are your thoughts on that you know I, I was listening to Richard Sherman and, and you know Richard Sherman sometimes says some things that I'm like what but the point he made about there are certain quarterbacks that just have that access and that ability and that's okay to just be a coach on the field and and he's right Russell Wilson is not that guy. He's going to defer to authority, which is coach. And he's going to look and make sure that we're on the same page. And if, yeah, if, if the clock is, play clock is running down, I'll call a timeout. Or if it's something, you know, mid game. But when it's decision making time, he's going to defer. Um, and I think that is where you start to see the separation of, of who is really the guy versus who is a guy. And Russell Wilson mm. is a guy. I can't, I can't sit here. And he made a phenomenal point, and I will echo it. If it is Tom Brady or if it is Aaron Rodgers. No. Oh, uh, I got to stop you there. Hold on. Go ahead. Because Aaron right. Rodgers, You're right. remember? You're right. You're right. That's You're why right. I was kind of right. giving me, Russell let me, back. Let me, let me, let me, hold on. Let me put my beeper on. Beep, beep. Let me back that up. <laughs> let me back that up. Or Peyton Manning. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys are just going to call that timeout and deal with what what the backlash from coach or whomever is going to be later, because they they feel so much assurance in in what they have and what they know about the game and the situations that no this is not what we need to do. So for me, uh, it's it's a culmination of just developing that relationship and then having that ability to be that guy. Why didn't Aaron? Well, you know, we're talking about the twenty. 20- 20 playoff season, the 2021, and he didn't, you know, override Matt LaFleur when they kicked the field goal from the eight yard line, fourth down, with uh, two minutes left in the playoff game. Is he just not, is that not him either? Or you think 
it was there like why do you think he didn't override that so it's not even it's not about him overriding it uh for me with Aaron he I know Aaron he did not want to kick that field goal he wanted to go for it but if he makes a stink it's going to be the narrative is going to be he can't he can't do that his body language and all the antics he can't he can't do all of that and upstage his coach right. and all of that. He, had, he That would be the narrative. And so what we then see is him falling back and deferring saying, you know what? Hey, you're the babe. You're the, you're the, you're the young genius. <laughs> you know, right, right, so right. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to defer. I'm going to, I'm going to play my role as quarterback. And Hey, I did what I was told to do. I did not agree with it. I mean, everybody can look at it, facial expressions and know that right. a lot of these quarterbacks don't agree with the calls that, that are coming in the headset. Are, are, are the giants, uh, Saquon Barkley, who was that running back, uh, running for 150 <laughs> yards? Cause I know I haven't seen him for a couple of years. Who was that? Greg, is that I unbelievable? I, I, you know what? I loved it, man. I think, I think when you have injuries that uh, of the magnitude that Saquon has had and, and he runs with his running style, like it is, it, it can take a while for you to even get your own confidence back and you become kind of your own worst enemy because you, you listen to the clippings, you listen to the chatter and you, you're not performing. And so you start almost believing it. And so this is something that not only did the giants need Saquon Barkley needed to know that he could still do this. Like everyone, everyone knows like when they have value and they have skill set. Like I know I, I've done it, but when you haven't done it in a while, you start to question, you start to doubt guys miss time and they start to look at catches and runs being made by all these fantastic athletes. And they're like, man, I, can I still do that? And for, for Saquon Barkley and his psyche, he needed that more than even the Giants did. We um we we talked a little bit about the Packers and Aaron Rodgers, but that was in the past. We saw what happened Saturday or Sunday. Uh, didn't look good. They lost to the Vikings, which you and I actually thought would happen. Are you should is it panic time for Green Bay fans, or do you think they'll be fine? They got blown out last year in the opener. Obviously, had a great season. You think they'll just turn this thing around and still win eleven, twelve games? Well, I would say this: it's different than last year. It's this is not last year's team. Um, you don't have last year's performers, especially when we're talking about offense. Um, however, it is not panic time. You still do have Aaron Rodgers, and and granted, the young kid Christian, if he makes the catch, oh. who knows? The game, the the game may look different. But Greg, for Greg, me, let me let me ask you this real quick, and I don't want to interrupt you. Real quick, that pass, you got to catch that. You're starting your end up. How big of a blow is that not to make that catch? I'm gonna tell you it's 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 a it's a blow. I, I will explain it. It is a blow, but it's an even bigger blow when you're not given another chance to rebound from it. Yeah, that's and he the wasn't blow. targeted the rest of the game. That was the bigger blow for me, and it, he, he and Dobbs like you you gotta. And again, I thought with with Aaron's response as far as his verbal, his facial, all of that, I thought he did great by not, like, getting very dramatic with it, you know, okay, he dropped it, no worry. But the fact that he never went back to him, it spoke even louder than that. And I, I, I just wish he would have gone back to him and given him another chance because you got to nip that. You got you to gotta tell the young, the young kid, like, look, it happens. It's happened to a lot. It, it, it won't be the last time you drop a pass. It will not be the last time Christian Watson drops a pass in the Green Bay Packer uniform. It will not if he continues to play and be healthy. That is, that's a part of the game. However, you can't put him on the shelf while he's in the game right. and just not even give him another. That was the bigger blow. Now, what I hear you, but what about tough love? Because the bottom line is now Christian Watson, he just got to suck it up, right? You know he's thinking about it. I and he would have. Oh, I'm sure. I mean, do, had nightmares about it. Do you think he it. can respond even to the? Because obviously, yes. Aaron's giving him Look, tough love, and he, you know, which he, that would have been better in the game. But what about now? Do you think Aaron's approach could could be beneficial? 
I, I believe he's gonna. He, it's gonna be beneficial. Any type of love, as long as it is shown in love, is beneficial. Tough love, nurturing love, all of it, right? But for me, I'll take you back to Devontae Adams. His first couple, he used to drop a ton of passes. Right. The, Devontae Adams used to drop so many passes, and I remember people reaching out like, "What did he got the drop seats?" James Jones did the same thing, but the difference was they always had somebody else. It was when Devontae was dropping passes, they still had Jordy, who was at the forefront. Right. When James Jones was dropping passes, they still had myself, who was at the forefront. Right now, Christian Watson dropped that pass. There was no Alan Lazard on the field. There was no, right. There's no Devontae anymore. Right. Did, did, Aaron, did, he, did he freeze out those guys for a game? So No, no. But, it, it, well, I can't even say no. I can't say no. Okay. He could he – could, he had the he ability could do it because he had y'all because he had the other guys. He had no that. This is all you have right now, so you got to work through it. You, hey, tough love that happens when we get back. Right now, I need you. I need you. Uh, I can't win this game by myself. Right. All right. That's our man, uh, two time or Super Bowl champion and uh, body, but Mister Universe, right? Yeah, Mister Universe. Get yes, Mister Universe. You, wow. We not just. We're not just joking when we talk about all these. No, movies. you guys got to go to his Instagram. I mean, Absolutely. come on. Absolutely. Yes. yes. Absolutely. Correct. You'll see him in short shorts working out on his muscles. So that's our man, Greg <laughs> Why Jennings. you got to mention the short shorts, Chris? I mean, come on. That's our man, Greg Jennings. Greg, we appreciate take it easy, you, man. Buddy. Thank you. Absolutely. Appreciate you guys.